This statue is said to move her eyes repeatedly. Thousands of people flock to see it and some are saying that it happens here in this video. One person thought it might be blinking here. I definitely see it as well. Another person says her left arm moves. I don't see it. And I think those who do probably are getting fooled by unsteady camera work in my opinion. Still, thousands of people have visited this statue because apparently it moves. So maybe I'm the one who's wrong. It's well documented that creatures in the deep ocean are mysterious and terrifying, but will not often cross paths with such creatures due to the depths they inhabit. However, rarely do we imagine what the muddy waters of our rivers are hiding. Published by Kiwi TV on YouTube in April of 2016, this river in China is hiding something frightening. Marine life that looks partly hippo, partly dolphin, partly crocodile, and wholly terrifying was caught on camera while being poked and prodded by a garden tool. The large river-dwelling creature doesn't move much while being examined, nor does it appear to see much, as it seems not to have eyes. An anonymous YouTuber suggests it's a type of river dolphin. However, it doesn't look much like the Baji, a river dolphin that was believed to have gone extinct in the early 2000s. While that sighting was not altogether confirmed, this additional footage may suggest the aquatic mammal is, in fact, alive, though the population has been shrinking since the 80s. The Baji appear to have a longer and narrower bill, while the strange one caught in this video features a wider bill, no eyes, and lots of body splotches and patches. Is this a deformed Baji? If not the Baji, what other type of aquatic creature might this be? A strange and mysterious object is found in the woods by a YouTuber named Grant and has his whole group of friends startled by what's inside. Wrapped in tape and caught in the bushes is a creepy red color, faded from being out here so long. They pull at the tape and three minutes later, they are finally ready to reveal the revolting contents inside. Hold on, open it up for a minute, I gotta, I gotta record it. Look at it in there! What is that? Oh, it's a bear! What is it? What is it? What is it? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Gray floating chunks rise to the top of the gelatinous pile, an unknown mystery sludge that blows them back with a rotten stench on a windless day. They run away from it more than once. Things get weirder as a frightening conclusion creeps over them. Hey, this is like a somebody's body. You like somebody's body? Huh? I don't know. I'm holding my breath every time I go over there. Okay, it's kind of sketch, bro. Why it with duct tape? It's I'm calling that one. Don't call, the, don't call the emergency one. Someone is leaving this weird thing in the forest, one of the scariest finds of their life, and whoever it is has a lot of duct tape. There is a lake nearby, so I hope it's a fishing cooler full of improperly disposed bait and not what they fear it is. We never get an answer to this unexplained video, so tell me what you think this mystery substance was that made them call 911. This next video, made to raise awareness, is supposed to replicate voices in your head. Among the many visual and audio delusions is one in particular that really gets to me, a girl with no eyes who appears at random. The girl with no eyes is apparently very common and reported by many. The following scene is an example of how she usually comes to them, or rather, for them. She is scared. Nowhere is safe from the girl with no eyes, because once she is in your mind, there's nowhere to hide. This is what it's supposed to be like when she finds you. No one knows why so many people have reported seeing the exact same figure. Maybe it's a subconscious manifestation of a common fear we all have. Or maybe it's some type of possession that's driving people to madness. If this video is just a simulation, then I can only imagine how terrifying the real thing must be face to face. 
Haunting Jersey uploaded a YouTube video of a girl performing various different gymnastics exercises in her kitchen along with a friend of hers via a Skype or FaceTime call. The two perform one move complementing each other then move on to the next but what started off as a fun and innocent way to pass the time quickly turns into something frightening. Did you guys see that? So it's right here beside the blender. Yes, right here, this object. It's a paper towel holder, I believe. And obviously terrifies this poor girl here. And it gets the attention of even the person that she's on FaceTime with. The paper towel holder just now. And right as soon as she's back to just brush it off as, you know, whatever, don't know what happened, don't care, this thing right over here falls to the ground and just shatters absolutely everywhere. And I feel like if these were both on strings, wouldn't the paper towel holder have knocked that off at the same time? Because both the strings would kind of need to be in the same area. Understandably scared because she just saw something go flying across the room. The girl proceeds to ask her friend if they saw it too, to which they respond, saying that they did and they mention it sounded loud as well. Amazingly though, the girl is actually able to shake it off any sort of fear years she may have had by saying everything is fine and she continues on with more exercises but when it happens for a second time she immediately runs for the camera and turns it off hopefully this was the first and last time this happened to this poor girl and hopefully if it did persist they got out of this house Austin is nervous with anticipation over exploring the haunted Windsor Hotel in Georgia, a 24-hour paranormal investigation challenge that will leave all of them freaked out soon enough. A young person once fell down an elevator shaft in the early 1900s and the place has been haunted ever since. Her ghost has been seen in hotel mirrors. Objects often move on their own. Austin isn't sure if he believes the paranormal rumors until weird things are caught on camera they've left running overnight. Keys and a wallet fall off the dresser while everyone is asleep. Both objects are planted securely on an even surface and have no reason to drop unless it was a ghost or a string. I don't see either so I'm not sure what to think about this video at this point, but things are creepy so far. One of them wakes up and goes over to investigate the bizarre occurrence. What's caught on camera next is downright strange. As they are picking up the wallet and keys, a lamp clicks off. The noise sounds exactly like the button on their lamp. You heard, listen. You can literally hear the flavor. Something had to literally physically turn that off, bro. So there's no doubt that a lamp turns on, but the question or not is if it's the one that's in front of them. If there were four beds in this room, then I feel like there would be a second lamp behind them off camera. Maybe they were turning that one off to make the clicking noise. Still an overwhelming number of people agree this is paranormal. 682 to 15 as of the time of this video and given the hotel's haunted history, I trust in what they saw and wouldn't be surprised if it was real. A car sees a ghost on the side of the road and pulls over to record. They see nothing but darkness so they slowly inch forward. Scared yet certain something paranormal lies ahead. Looks like they were right. <laughs> They've caught a ghost sighting in their headlights, but not for long as the figure disappears into the night. Suddenly, they are no longer curious about what they saw and only want to get out of there fast. 
The figure is much taller than the average person and towers over their car. Something tells me they aren't the first travelers to witness this roadside phantom, and they are also probably far from the last for that matter. The team from Casa Sobre Natural is visiting a house with a malignant demon in this scary clap. At first, they think they see something. É muito assustador, velho. Ah, mas você não escutou? Vocês escutaram? Que dor? Por Deus, você mexeu aquela cadeira, cara. Que que, que, que mexeu? Céu, que mexeu, senhor. Mexeu que dor? Mexeu a cadeira, por Deus, céu, Sandro. Você não viu, sozinho? Eu vi, cara, eu escutei. And then that something makes its presence known. Por Deus, céu, mexeu, senhor. Não, Dor, acho que você tava vendo alguma coisa. Ah! 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 When they dare to enter, things get more aggressive. What is inside? They think it's over, but the demon has one last scare in store for them. In my opinion, there is something truly evil in this house. You can just feel it. A YouTuber named JPays57 catches a minute and a half long slew of paranormal activity in a solid white room that's mostly bare. First a paper flies up, and then with no one in the room, mind you, a woman's voice says a single word I wanted you to interpret. As for the piece of paper moving, I don't hear the wind and besides that, the paper actually blows towards the window, so that explanation wouldn't really make sense. A toolbox and a closet open at once, which could be coordinated between two people, but there's nobody in the room to pick up the camera and see who's in there. I hear a strange, otherworldly sigh. Do you? It sounds upset, and nothing like the woman's voice before. The closet door closes, and then the door closes shortly after. Somebody could be on the other side of the closet, but nobody is on either side of the door. I don't see any fishing wire tied around the knob, but I admit it's kind of too far away to tell, so tell me if you're convinced. Nothing like a good legend to call up some creepy videos. Posted by YouTuber Leonardo Martinez in January of 2016. The video is entitled, El Pombero, and El Dorado, Missone's Real. What is El Pombero? According to Latin American legend, the mythological gnome-like figure is rife in the Paraguayan forest, but can be found across southern Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. Pombero is mainly seen at night in rural areas and forests. Holding up in sheds and abandoned structures, he likes to mimic bird sounds, and the inexplicable chirping of birds is said to indicate that Pombero is near. If anyone so much as speaks Pombero's name out loud, he will harass them. Now that you know the myth, let's take a look at this video, which claims to have caught live action footage of the creature. Filmed in the forest, a group of folks are wandering through the trees when, off to the side, something that looks like a short stump starts to move. The figure hobbles in an uncanny way, leaning on a crutch. Needless to say, the people rush off in fear. It certainly looks jarring and uncannily real. If you live in Paraguay, I guess it's time to hide. You don't want to cross pass with this mischief maker. This video was taken by a Redditor's father while they were walking around an old historic building. He claims to have been all alone in the room, and according to the Redditor, their father is a very serious man who doesn't lie about such things. So even though he is alone, he records someone standing next to him in the reflection of the case. They cross behind him and then suddenly are gone. And when he looked back at the video, he saw the arm in blue shirts of someone standing in front of him. 
I guess this video would be easy enough to stage. I don't think the Redditor would lie about something like this though. Perhaps if this historic building had CCTV, then we could possibly get another angle of this event to finally solve the mystery. Bryce Newbold describes this Ohio hiking experience through the Shawnee State Forest as a very rough trip, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why. It's a hot summer's day and he has many miles ahead. By four miles, he is drenched and walks about half a mile to drink from the river. His next source of water won't be until nightfall, and by then he will have walked 12 miles. By the second day, he is feeling unusually miserable and drained, and decides to take a shorter route. I am absolutely covered in either little tiny ticks or chiggers. They're probably chiggers. They are all over me right now. I tried washing them off, but I mean, I'm gonna have to go through and pick them off one by one, it looks like. He's looking pretty pale by the end of the day, even though he's been getting plenty of sun. That's because poor Bryce has been getting his legs chewed off by tiny ticks that won't give up, and by the end of the day, it's looking pretty bad. And I have a million bites from those little chiggers last night. You can see they're still on there. By the time he gets back home, his legs and feet are covered in marks. I'm not a doctor, but I definitely would be going to one soon if I were him. That looks really bad and I think it's probably time for a test or two to make sure you didn't get anything from them. I really hope he's okay and that nothing like this ever happens to him again. What hides in the shadows can oftentimes be shadows themselves. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Mega White, the Redditor explains that she and her husband were away from home over a weekend and set up the motion detector Alfred camera app in their room for the surveillance. When they returned from their trip, they were met with this unusual and terrifying video. The clip shows a fuzzy bedroom backdropped by a doorway with either a light on beyond or a natural source of light casting inside the other room. That light shift says something is apparently moving enough to set off the motion sensor. In fact, that something appears to pass right across the doorway, blocking out the light beyond for a moment. You can make out a distinct figure. It's more like a shadow or a vague or even invisible figure that still somehow manages to distort the light. There is definite movement, but from what, we can't know from sure. Redditor JJ740 asks if there was an intrusion, to which Meg answers that all the doors and windows were locked and nothing was missing. She also notes that strange things have been occurring in this house for a matter of months. Like what? Meg explains we can always see a shadow walking out of the office through the wall into my closet, and I always thought I was seeing things until we caught this on camera. She also says in another comment that her kids have heard people talking, and her two-year-old has even started laughing at something in empty rooms of the home. A Redditor writes, That's actually genuinely creepy. Of course, as with every potentially paranormal clip, you have your insect theories, but most agree that the clip looks legit and not edited or faked. What do you think? Are you freaked out? I certainly am. An all-white mysterious mist approaches this home and briefly flies away, only to come back in the opposite direction and fly off camera once more. I was thinking that this could be some kind of bug crawling across the lens until I took a second look, this time observing its behavior. Upon returning, the phantom mist reaches out and actually taps on the door with some kind of ghostly appendages. The timing and placement of its knocking gesture makes me think that this is probably a poltergeist playing tricks on the people inside. Have you ever seen something out of place reflected in the window? Posted to the haunted subreddit by Please Recycle Those, this Redditor did, and he is wondering what these are. The Redditor explains in the comments that his dog heard a sound downstairs, so he followed the dog down with the camera rolling. As he is panning across a dining room area, when he captures his own reflection in the window, panning past, something strange is reflected behind the cameraman in the window reflection. The Redditor is wondering if it's an arm. Some in the comments say it could be a ponytail, but the Redditor has short hair. 
Others think it's a fast-moving ghost or something leaving the scene. What do you think it is? Whatever it might be, it'll knock your socks off. A YouTuber named Joe's Paranormal TV decides to explore a haunted forest in Michigan in the early morning hours. The first thing they notice is how all of the trees look unnatural, like nothing they've ever seen before. In fact, the deeper into the forest they go, the stranger things seem to get. What was that? A metallic clang draws their attention, followed by faint cries in the distance. You hear that? Joe thinks he sees moving shadows and tries to reassure himself that he and his friend are alone in the wilderness. Still, his camera's batteries are draining fast despite being brand new, and now he feels like he's being watched. Joe's equipment starts to malfunction for a moment. It clears up just in time to catch this noise. It's creepy out here, man. It sounded like right up ahead of us here. It's the unmistakable sound of a baby crying. I think that they probably really did hear this, but let me know if you think it's real or edited. Anyway, they eventually find a clearing of slash trees that have been rearranged into strange symbols. Maybe someone in the comments section can tell me if these are pagan symbols or not, and if so, what they mean and what they would be doing here. Eventually, Joe's terror becomes unmanageable, and he flees after he thinks he hears something close by. Strange voices continue to follow Joe and his friend as they make their way out. A YouTuber named Darren's Northern Life is doing some last minute hunting at the end of the season. He sees a parked truck early on and knows that other hunters must be around, which means everybody should be extra careful. A short while later, he finds himself in one of the worst situations a hunter could ever possibly imagine. Oh my goodness, that bullet just came over my head. Darren hears the shot whiz by his head and scrambles for cover behind some trees. The other hunters still haven't noticed they are firing on another person and seem to be out of shouting range. This, this guy's gonna f***ing kill me. Darren scrambles to safety and can't even believe what just happened. Later, he goes back to the truck and records their license plate. They just so happen to be coming back as well. Pictures of the license plate. Is something wrong? Everything all right? Uh, somebody shot at me. They claim it was a different person and not anyone in their party. Without any concrete evidence, I don't think there is much Darren can legally do besides upload the video and make the event public. Let me know if you think he has enough evidence to press charges based on what you've seen. This video posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Exploring with Eric is another random Randonautica adventure. Only this adventure took its victims somewhere that no one would choose to end up, the abandoned site of a witch's ritual. Eric writes, Myself and Veronica unexpectedly found a ritual site and it was beyond disturbing. Directed by the app into the middle of nowhere at night, the pair wander through the wilderness to the random destination set out for them and arrive at an old rocky structure that looks like it's been around for a good while. The abandoned site is littered with recognizable graffiti alongside symbols that aren't so recognizable. Although the place appears to have been frequented by others, Others. These others may not have all been innocent random randonauticers or taggers, but rather more nefarious individuals. After exploring an enormous empty tank outside, they head inside the stone structure. This is where things get freaky. Inside is a bizarre and creepy sight. Encircled by a red ring with votive candles surrounding it, they discover a piece of paper scrunched up on the floor. As they attempt to unfurl it to see what's written, they keep hearing things. Veronica says it sounds like someone laughing. They decide to leave, but they take the paper with them. 
Once in the car, they open it and find the message is written in Spanish. According to YouTuber Luisa Gutierrez, it reads in English, It's a trap. My spirit Marlene here. Please say my name three times. There also appears to be a date at the end. What does it all mean? Eric and Veronica may have just cursed themselves. This footage was apparently found inside the Penhurst Asylum, which is a real abandoned place located in Pennsylvania. The footage contains two students exploring the clearly abandoned building, and while nothing too bizarre happens in this footage, the backstory and timing are enough to make you scream. The two student explorers were never seen again after this. Well, that is terrifying enough. I want you to focus on the timestamp in the corner. Notice how they are ending up in new spots in the asylum at a faster and faster rate. Near the end of the video, the pair end up in the forest at a rate where the speed they are traveling is simply inhuman. What do you think is happening here? If this footage is real, then it is a case where the happenings would never be believed, if not for it being recorded. When you happen upon a cave carved into a mountainside, you might want to think twice before entering. Published to YouTube by The Highway 9 in September of 2017, this video serves as a warning to never ever go caving alone. The footage takes you through a deep and dark rock hewn cave. Along the way, bats are seen hanging from the ceiling, and a long black centipede like insect is climbing the walls. But the creepiest part is yet to come. As the YouTuber rounds a corner, he senses something deeper in the tunnel. He presses on, peering into the darkness, and seems to see a figure beyond. Highway writes, I'm not sure what I saw, but it scared the wits out of me. Needless to say, he fled the scene as anyone would. YouTuber Lee Stat444 writes in the comments, This is what happens when you enter a cave full of bats, dusts, and insects. You find Batman. Whether this unfortunate explorer found that or something much more nefarious is anybody's guess. But I'm gonna err on the side of the second choice. A ring camera caught yet another attempted intruder in the act, actually this time too. Published to YouTube in a ring cam video by Full Moon Crazies in July of 2019, the surveillance camera was placed behind a lamp and captures a pair of thieves going into a home during the Christmas season. The thieves are partially hiding their faces with their hoodies, and they seem to spy the ring camera right away, as they look directly at it. After gathering some backpacks, likely filled with the taken goods, one of the intruders can be seen knocking the camera down to avoid its capturing further incriminating footage, but he didn't totally succeed. Two more intruders are caught on camera entering the room from the hallway. The clip ends without further explanation. These intruders more than likely made off like bandits, but we can only hope this video evidence was enough to catch them. Either way, this cost them Christmas, as they were sure to end up on Santa's naughty list. Douglas Daniel has caught two scary moments on camera. One is pretty obvious, while the other is for the most observant eye, so don't blink. Here goes home. A rock slide bangs a barrier open before this guy even has a chance to take their hands out of his pockets to protect himself. And if that was one of the smaller rocks, think about what any of the larger ones would have done to him. He isn't the only lucky person in this video. A rock climber is right next to the action when the rocks let loose. I wonder if something they did caused this to happen. If so, I can only imagine how bad they would have felt if somebody got hurt because of their mistake. A YouTuber named Lawrence Ryan takes off his shirt and throws it over a shelf. A while later, he returns to the area and now finds the discarded piece of laundry has somehow shifted into a face. This shift continues before his very eyes until Lawrence grabs a camera to document the paranormal event. The shirt takes the appearance of a grinning demonic face who is looking down into the left. If you don't see it yet, you soon will. The transformation is not yet fully complete. The camera goes out of focus very briefly as Lauren struggles to zoom in while walking closer. And when the camera corrects itself and comes back into play, the face is changed again. Pause at 1 minute and 47 seconds into the video, and you will see it now has a very deep ceased brow, a sharp angular nose, and a strange expression that looks like a cross between a frown and a smirk. 
I really don't see how any of this is possible, but then again, if it's fake, then I don't know how they did it either. The shirt is hanging from a shelf and should not hold any form at all. If they tried to somehow fold it into the shape of a face, I don't think it would stay like that for long. That's what this YouTuber thinks about Bloody Mary after making this video. He says her name way more than three times and then begins to taunt her out loud. Are you real Bloody Mary? Or are you just a f***ing joke? Did y'all just hear that? Still not convinced, the brave teen says her name some more and waits. It isn't long before he gets his reply. Do that. Going on here. Drawers are opening on their own, the faucet turns on, and he soon concludes that Bloody Mary is very real after all. He goes to grab the door and finds that it won't budge. He puts his hands on top of his head now, obviously distressed, just when he is sure that he's a goner. He manages to open the door and make an escape. UK's Drizzly Jeremy goes exploring an abandoned building. In his words, just to see how it was. I'm explore an abandoned morgue. I don't want to go in because it looks scary. Inside is quiet and creepy. Beyond a decrepit little office and break room, they find the morgue area where the passed away were once kept in large refrigerated units. They retch at the disgusting stench. A layer of foul slime has rotted the floor. Oh. That's when some scary moments are caught on camera. Go in there. Off the under. What? They hear a loud noise behind them and quickly get out of there. I'm pretty sure the noise is coming from in the space where bodies once were. What the? Are you brave enough to take one last look in that storage room before leaving? I wouldn't dare. Mike Tuttle and his friend Hunter are going to an abandoned trailer in the middle of the woods at 3am with a Ouija board to do a paranormal experiment. The creepy forest setting has them both nervous before they even begin. Alright, put your hands on. Let's go. <laughs> You're sketched out, won't you? Want you? Oh yeah, yeah. me too. Alright, ready? Almost immediately, the evil demon known as Zozo makes his presence known by repeatedly spelling out its name. Mike and Hunter quickly try to move the pointer to goodbye, but it switches to no instead. They are frantically trying to figure out how else they can end this session and make the mistake of taking their hands off of the pointer too soon. That's when something happens to Hunter in particular. What the f***, dude? Stop f with me. Dude, we're in the middle of nowhere. I gotta go fing get I gotta go get help, dude. I, what the f Hunter eventually wakes up with no recollection of what just happened. He thinks he just got here, so Mike shows him the Ouija board and the video to convince him otherwise. It's unclear whether Hunter was possessed or if he just passed out from fear, but both of their reactions seem real, so I doubt this is fake. Let me know if you think this was a prank or if something really happened to them that night at 3am. This amateur footage catches a Disney worker dressed as Pluto chasing a small child in circles. The ordeal looks rather comical at first until you hear the small child clearly screaming for his life and realize that this is no joke. Just as Pluto is about to grab the child, a nearby adult swings him around by the arm and tells him off. The whole park is watching at this point, so Pluto immediately goes back into character and tries to act like nothing serious happened. He walks away with his hands up. 
as surprise parents continue to film him. I'm not really sure what caused the Disney worker to go off like this, though one rumor is that the child possibly kicked him. According to the uploader, Pluto was escorted away by a park employee, possibly security, shortly after. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Fighters travels to the same tunnel system as Dark Arts TV. He is explaining his nervous anticipation when a loud scrape occurs directly over his shoulder. No one is near him. You can tell by everyone's distant chatter that they are pretty far away. Listen for yourself and tell me if you agree no one else was nearby. At least, no one alive. This video is going to be far. They all get a really bad feeling upon discovering what could be fragments of human. Look at this part and tell me if he is tossing a part of someone's jaw or just a random piece of debris. I was wondering if these could belong to an animal, but then they discover a large collection of combs left over top. Like this one, for example. So I think we may have sadly found our answer. They are ready to leave before they come across any other horrible discoveries, but something follows them. This extremely creepy low laugh follows them on their way out, while the rest of the audio remains the same. In fact, what's especially scary is how one of these girls lets out a small chuckle shortly before this noise comes out. Almost as if it's laughing in response. Listen for yourself and tell me if you think this is edited or not. Two friends unlock the door to an unfinished attic and step inside. Their single flashlight briefly shines across a mattress that nearly takes up the entire space. As they ponder what all of this means, a force pushes them over and the room goes dark. When the flashlight kicks back on, one of them gets off the ground on unsteady feet. What's wrong? Just go. What? Just, just go. Go? I think there is a possibility they could be acting. But then again, maybe a spirit is bound to the mattress and doesn't take kindly to intruders. A creeping patch of darkness spreads without a sound over an unknown location, possibly someplace near the beaches of Malaysia. And then an underwater creature is caught on camera, doing some scary things that no one can explain. The giant underwater creature appears to be on the verge of breaking the surface at 23 seconds. There's a wave of displaced water that has everyone in the comments further vexed and perplexed. Some say this shimmering effect is a school of fish evading a predator. I would agree with this except not a single one jumps out of the water. The most eerie supernatural explanation offered is a Malaysian phenomenon called Salor Baidar, a name for underwater paranormal activity in which someone is instantly pulled to the bottom of the river by a spirit without warning. Apparently it looks a lot like this which I find scary to think about. The bizarre moment passes but they don't stop filming until more unexplained activity is caught on video. The mysterious shape bubbles to the surface once more at 58 seconds, and here at 1 minute and 3 seconds, I think it briefly breaks through. It could be the back of a whale or something, but it kind of looks like some kind of liquid on top of the water, like an oil spill. The person who actually caught this bizarre sighting says it's a video of a mysterious sea creature, but never does he provide additional backstory. This unexplained video has been stumping the internet since it was first uploaded on June 8, 2018. No update has been provided, and I could find no other similar scary situations caught on tape. Let's put our heads together and figure out once and for all what this unsolved mystery really was. It's two at night when this doorbell cam captures something that really shouldn't be possible. Pay attention to the area by the white railing to see it. Some kind of smoky blur appears out of nowhere and paces back and forth twice before disappearing. The uploader insists that this is a ghost and I agree that it is a strong possibility. Look again and it almost looks like a large head accompanied by two hanging arms, or at least that's what I see. Let me know if you can see it as well. John of a paranormal channel called Exploration Unknown investigates an abandoned farmhouse late at night. 
He and two other ghost hunters split up and then reconvened downstairs to discuss what they found, which was little more than some empty rooms and loose steps. The floors upstairs are pretty spongy. I, I did it, but uh, I doubt it. After talking with Tim, John walks through the first floor, and at 11 minutes, a shadow figure is caught on tape moving above him. We've got the K2 meter over here in this window. We're getting things set up. All right. And then in here, we got Josh on the porch. It's not Josh because Josh is on the porch outside, and it's not Tim because they just had a conversation about how dangerous the floor was up there. And for some reason, the legs remain covered in darkness, even though enough light hits the area to show the banister is brown. So there's a strong chance that this ghost video is real. Next time you're wandering through a forest, look out for the trees. They might just be hiding duppies. Posted to YouTube by Javahan Ferguson in January of 2020. This video purports to show proof of a duppy caught in a tree. What's a duppy? Meaning ghost or spirit. The concept originated in Central Africa. Caribbean folklore in particular grasped onto the supernatural nature of the duppy. Many residents, in fact, claim to have seen them. The malevolent spirits appear most often at night and are meant to haunt the living. In the video, the so-called duppy woman appears to somehow be perched atop a tree. She is waving to someone or something beyond. If not something supernatural, how is this woman managing to stand or float atop a tree like this? And if she is a duppy, what imaginable malice does she intend to induce? Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Bushwookie83, this redditor wrote, Looks like Mike Myers paying me a visit. WTF is that? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Hey man. That is cool. What are you doing? Um, you okay? Can I get away? Do you want me to say you room? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Duck Consume Bread wrote, Man, I don't know how you could just sit there. I'd already be moved out, lol. Well, Neo One Lone Wolf 6985 wrote, It looks like the reflection of your flashlight on your phone, reflecting on certain parts of the glass, giving off the illusion of a face, actually. Looks like the exact same tattoo I have of Michael Myers on my arm. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. One day, a YouTuber named Michelle Burse and her friends are startled to find something burrowing beneath the ice. Oh my God. Wow. Did you see they are positive that something is causing the ice to crack and splinter as it digs a path under their feet. While I do see what they think, I'm pretty sure that this is just the formation of ice in real time. Still, I'd like to get your opinion to confirm. If I'm wrong, then I have no idea what could be shifting the ice like that. A fearless ghost hunter named Hassan Barbar takes on a demon in its own home in one of the creepiest paranormal explorations I've seen in a while. First is Snapchat filter, which uses facial recognition technology, detects a ghost right in front of him though I suspect it might be falsely detecting a face from this square on the wall. But what the filter could possibly mistake for a face here at 3 minutes and 37 seconds, I have no idea. Maybe it is a ghost. A bizarre trail of flashing dog images does seem to lead him to the real thing, and the extra creepy stuff is all caught on camera. <laughs> The demon is in a small cramped room with no exit, and so Hassan Barbar fearlessly charges forward, fearing no demon. 
He is expected to have caught it up close on camera, but instead the small room is mysteriously empty, despite there being no other path for it to have escaped through besides the doorway through which he came. Atul. Atul. When? He follows the Snapchat filter back to the mysterious square wall, and that's when he sees it again. He runs outside only to find the demon has disappeared from the other side of the wall. The Snapchat taunts him with further positives for a facial recognition. He goes to where the figure was just standing and looks through the wall inside. Sure enough, by now he understands that this jinn can teleport easily and will not be caught today because it simply does not want to be. He leaves for now, sure to be back another day with a plan to draw it even closer next time for a better look at its gruesome face. A TikToker paranormal team called Zodiac Supernatural is in the middle of the woods when this wild noise rips through an otherwise still night. Tell me if you can identify this creature, because it sounds massive and furious. Really cold to be still. I can't tell if it's being devoured, letting out a warning call, or just going crazy at their camera lights. I'm surprised that everyone doesn't immediately run away, which makes me wonder if they actually had some idea of what it was and possibly weren't telling us. So it's really cold to be seen. A YouTuber named Ghost Chic believes she has a problem in her home of the paranormal variety. One day her dog just starts patrolling the living room, as if on guard even though there is nothing out of the ordinary and no strange noises. I'm wondering if it is annoyed by something on television, or at something we can't see standing there. Then it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever it is, he seems satisfied that it's gone for now. But then he tries to track it. Meanwhile, notice how the smaller dog doesn't seem to care at all. Is everything okay? It's definitely weird, although maybe it could have just been a bug or something. But still, that doesn't explain how on a different day, both of her dogs get up to see who's at the door. The door opens and I think I might see a shadow pass through, though it could be the outside light. As soon as she's coming in to see what's wrong, the barely discernible orb passes overhead, unseen to her at the time but caught on camera nonetheless. And when she later goes ghost hunting using a Kinect in the same room, she detects a spirit by the window. I want to pan so you can see that there's no one else over there with her. No one's on my curtain. Then, something eerie happens. So is this a paranormal encounter? Or is this person waving their hand at 38 seconds, also moving it with their hand during this part? I'll let you decide. A YouTuber named Area Awesomeness claims these pet leeches are for more than just a show. Apparently, they can help treat things, but the only way to experience these supposed benefits is by letting a leech latch on to you. And believe it or not, these ones are only about a year old and not even full size. Adults can grow up to two feet in length and would pack an even bigger bite. With this in mind, the whole situation stresses me out too much to try it, but that's just my opinion. 
tell me what you think about this part. They can either be fed, I guess, human blood, animal blood, whatever you prefer. And if you would be brave enough to try, a YouTuber named Shahara Negron and her family have been experiencing some strange activity ever since they moved into a new place. Lately, her daughter has been complaining that her toys have been moving all by themselves, and one doll in particular seems to be at the center of it all. This doll actually looks like, and it's kind of old, where I have nothing really precious or special about it, but it just has this feeling about it. She sits and watches the doll as orbs dance all around. It isn't long before something starts to happen. This is some freaky. It's, oh, I'm about to run. What the? Whoa, what the fuck? I was thinking that somebody hidden behind the chair was moving it, but then the recliner footrest comes out by itself at the end. As far as I know, somebody would have had to grab the lever on the side or press the button, but I don't see anyone. Tell me if you think this family is legitimately being haunted. This odd and mysterious sighting in the sky has been viewed online by hundreds of people who have been unable to provide a proper explanation. The strange object floats from behind a tree and travels very fast. The oddly long shape does not look like a drone sighting to me, and it doesn't have any lights or identifying features. It's too far away to tell what it is for sure, but at the same time, it's close enough to tell that it's beyond creepy. TikToker KC Rav is not home alone. The security footage captured something super creepy near the stairway leading upstairs. Watch the dark corner. A large figure appears to peek out from beneath in the darkness. From the TikToker's description of the video, it sounds like the dark corner is another stairway leading down to another level of the home. Let's take a closer look. What is that? It definitely looks like a person to me. Another mysterious aspect of this video is the movement in the reflection to the left. I'm not sure if that's glass or a mirror, but something is moving and flickering past and then disappears. Are these two mysteries related? Whatever is going on here, if that isn't a ghost, it's an intruder. Either way, I think she should leave. A TikToker called What Up Craig records something in his home that only his dog can sense. Something invisible that might be standing at the doorway. <laughs> It's not someone hiding off camera because the dog looks down one hallway and then it gets up to look down the other, growling all the while. Whatever it's looking at couldn't have crossed the hall without being seen by the camera. At one point, the dog starts making small head movements as it tracks something flying around, and whatever it is seems to come inside of the room at one point. Whether this really is a spirit or just a bug is what I'm trying to figure out, as What Up Craig seems to have firmly made up his mind, and I'm looking to do the same. What's going on? TT Mando posted this video in 2008 of his ninja cat chasing a ghost around the living room. In the description, he writes, I have never really been a believer in ghosts, but my wife and I have two cats that used to always go nuts seeing things that we could not see. They would howl at the lights in our dining room and chase things around that were not there. It was really weird, so my one cat starts going nutty one night like he is seeing something. So I decided to try and shoot some footage thinking maybe I can see what they are seeing through a camera. The video begins with the cat watching something floating in the air attentively. What is he staring at? While shooting the footage, the YouTuber switched between regular and night vision mode, which is when the ninja cat started climbing the walls. Literally. 
you can see that the cat has managed to climb to the top of a dresser and is looking up into the corner of the room. Whatever the cat has its eyes on must be moving all over the place because her gaze darts here and there. The cat then jumps down from its spot on the dresser to a scratching post. And then, as its eyes follow the invisible, it jumps up the wall and lands on the floor. It tries again, jumping up the door and managing to get its claws into the door frame. It looks up into the corner of the ceiling, its head still darting around. The cat hangs there for nearly an entire minute, seemingly enraptured by the ghost or spirit in its sights. Seriously, do you see anything there? Because I sure do. According to the YouTuber, a dot of light moved through the TV once he got his cat down from the door. The YouTuber points out the light that moves from the back to the front of the room. If you watch the video closely, you can see it too. The experience was, apparently, traumatic for this cat owner, who now sleeps with the covers over his head. Japan knows horror. Here's a creepy clip from the Far East. Imagine approaching a traffic light only to run into this. A creepy woman at a pedestrian crossing in Sapporo, Japan seems to be in a trance-like state. Halfway through the pedestrian crossing, she stopped to stare straight at oncoming traffic, completely unmoving. Although it's clearly the time to cross, as you can see other pedestrians using the crosswalk behind her, she is at a standstill, staring off unnervingly, causing the driver taking the video to wonder what in the world is going on. Even as the light changes, the woman continues to stand there in the middle of the road staring. The driver passes around her, capturing the woman on video, still frozen in place as they pass her by. What do you think is going on? The woman's behavior is unexplainable. Seems like something might be in the water in Japan. A group of British ghost hunters are walking around the Wilney graveyard in search of paranormal evidence. It's late at night when they apparently find exactly what they are looking for. Pay close attention to the area between the two tombstones or you might miss it. What the f was that? The man's flashlight passes over a tall silhouette that makes him pause. It looks like it could have simply been some shadows playing against the wall, but they light up the entire area, and there is no wall to be found. Let me know if you saw the strange shadowy figure and what you think it could have been. This stranger in a hockey jersey demands entry. Would you let him in? Let me in. Published by Sam Maloney in May of 2022, this ring doorbell camera captured this man's attempted entry on video. After being dropped off by a white car that drives away, the man walks up the stairs and rings the doorbell a couple of times. He speaks in a strange, froggy voice. He continues to growl at the door. Let me in. Alexa then asks him what his intentions are, and he responds, Welcome. Let me in. This is Alexa. What is the purpose of the visit? I require entry. After demanding entry, the man disappears from the camera's sight, but it's not clear where he went. He didn't retreat down the front stairs. Did he find a way in through the door or a window? You and me are left with more questions than answers. A YouTuber named Lightwatch captured this strange sea creature sighting on GoPro while exploring the beach with his friends. The shapeless yellow creature looks somewhat like a starfish except it is too light and thin. This thing is paper thin and seems to kick against the tide. The friends are smart enough not to handle the sea creature just in case it has some kind of deep sea toxins waiting to do them in. I have no idea what this weird thing is, but I wonder if it's part of something larger that got devoured. Give me your best guess as to what's been caught on tape. 
This video has become quite popular in the Spanish YouTube community, but I wanted to shed some light on its origins. This clip is from the web series, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl Network. Posted in January of 2012, the uploader wonders if her studio is haunted. In the video, she claims that she hasn't been down in the studio for a couple months because of what happened. What happened was that she heard someone speak while she was down there alone. She explains that her brother had been down there several times, and her brother went through every room but found nothing. Being as it seems the coast is clear, she wants to finish the video she'd previously been filming. But as she begins with the turning board, a dark figure, well half of a dark silhouette figure really, exits the room far behind her and can be seen passing into the next room. Seeing the thing reflected in the mirror in front of her, the girl sprints out of the room full stop, racing up the stairs and banging on the door. Many in the comments are calling the apparition scary and creepy. YouTuber Brie Naylor writes, Maybe it wasn't a good idea to watch this at 4.08 in the morning. It's bad enough I get scared just sitting in the living room, and then I watch this. I'm almost in tears. Are you watching at 4.08 in the morning too? Don't let this clip enter your dreams. But do check out the full Haunting of Sunshine Girl Network series. It's definitely worth the watch. Patrick Janssen goes into the basement to retrieve some belongings, among them a camera, when he sees something out of the corner of his eye. He decides to start recording all around him since he has his camera anyway, and he's surprised by what he finds. Here it is again in slow motion, a black shadow passing from left to right as he walks forward. A shadow that looks different than his own is shown here at 32 seconds, which looks normal and comes from the proper angle. So tell me if Patrick is just good at video editing, or if there's truly a shadow person in his home, because I think something could be living down there rent free. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard has been battling a poltergeist in his home for years now. This is one of his strongest pieces of evidence. As he's attempting to communicate with the poltergeist, he feels something touch him. Kick, kick. I had... I had something touch me. Later, using a Kinect, he sees an entity dancing around his bathroom. The entity slams his toilet seat down. Holy Watch closely and you'll see the lid fall. Is this poltergeist good or evil? What does he want from Donnie? I think I know. He wants a bit of privacy. During a mid-morning flight from Canada over the Appalachian Mountains in October of 2010, this passenger captured something mysterious from the air. Watch carefully. Can you see the reflections of light in the clouds? There also appears to be a disc-like shape that emerges from the clouds at the lower half of the screen. Watch again closely. Is this a genuine, unidentified flying object caught on camera? If not, what do you think this could possibly be? Ben of the YouTube channel Laney and Ben says paranormal events still occur in their forever haunted home. Here is a quick update of some of those events. First, a cup trick. Followed by the opening of kitchen drawers. Watch the silverware closely. Things get even more dangerous in another video. And the kitchen soon devolves into this madness.
It doesn't appear that Lainey and Ben's poltergeists are fading anytime soon. In fact, the last video makes me think their powers are only getting stronger. Nathan, two of your life, lives in a remote mountain location and has never revealed his home address. This still doesn't stop someone from apparently figuring out where he lives and paying him a visit. Nathan wasn't home at the time, so they decide to leave a really creepy note for him to come back to. The person leaves their personal cell phone number with instructions to call. Just the fact that they were essentially tracking Nathan down makes this note come off as aggressive and weird. I think it would be really interesting if someone could analyze the handwriting and tell me more about this potential stalker's personality. Later, Nathan musters up the courage to make contact with his fan, and the conversation is about as eerie as you'd expect. I'm watching you right now. Bro, I've been watching you for like the past two weeks. I'm in the tree right beside your room. I'm waiting. Nathan looks around but ultimately he doesn't see anyone else. They probably were not nearby because they could have made a noise if they really wanted Nathan to see where they were. I think this probably is just one of his friends or else some random weirdo messing with his head. Then again, a short while later, he sees a black SUV speeding away that he has never seen before. So maybe someone really was watching his every move from a distance. The Waverly Hills Sanitarium in Kentucky has been condemned since the early 60s, though the spirits of its former inhabitants inhabitants are thought to still roam its rubble-filled halls. Lindsay Rogers leads a ghost hunting team through the dark asylum, and it isn't long before they are engulfed by paranormal activity. It sounds like a door opens, and you can see Lindsay looks right, but the door is still shut. There's a second banging noise that almost sounds like a body hitting the ground. Though without more video footage, we'll never know for sure. Jake Atafi is in his living room when someone pulls open the screen door really slowly and just lets it shut. No follow-up knock, no footsteps walking away, nothing. Even his dog is wondering what the deal is. Jake stops recording to check and claims no one was outside. It's creepy, but it's too bad he didn't record out of his window to prove that his house is as haunted as he says it is. The next time you look into your baby monitor, you might find an unnerving guardian angel. That's what happened to a friend of XX Blazin XX who posted this clip to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor writes in the comments, A friend of mine had recently put her child to bed, and she has gone through every single thought of how to justify this figure, but it looks like a little child walking in and around the crib. By the time log on the baby monitor, you can see it's around 9.40 p.m. and if you look closely, you'll catch a ghost white shadow figure walk around the back of the crib as the baby sleeps on. The figure creeps around one side of the crib before pacing back to the head of the crib and coming slightly around the other side. Then it moves back. At the end of the clip, it appears most visible, leaving its sentient spot, probably in order to make itself a sandwich. What was this phantom caretaker doing? Do you think it's a friendly guardian? Or does the babysitter have evil intent? Whatever the case, safeguard that baby. It's better to be safe than sorry. The last thing you'd want for your Burger King chicken nuggets is a ghost playing with them. But we don't always get what we want. YouTuber Karaoke Batman shares the security footage of a supposed phantom playing around in this Burger King kitchen. Watch behind the worker. Like. Something threw a basket of chicken nuggets from the counter behind him. Watch again closely. <laughs> oh my god. Like. Since we can't see where the basket of nuggets fell from, I don't know if it simply toppled over or if some mysterious being threw it. I think we'd need further evidence of ghostly activity to draw any sort of conclusion on this one. Ghost Hunters Bro Sham in iStudio team up for one of the scariest paranormal explorations in Indonesia. This time they're exploring a haunted hospital that gives them chills, literally. So di depan saya 
memang hutan eh hutan beluka eh. He senses a drop in temperature. The camera goes out of focus. A shadow stretches out to him and then goes away. When he looks over, it's nowhere to be found. They spend a long time exploring the courtyard for more paranormal activity, but get no further signs. Inside, the hospital is being taken back by the rainforest one room at a time, but plenty of the place remains haunted. Salamu. The voice is coming from a room that has a drawing of a witch-like head on the wall. There's no other drawings anywhere else in the hospital, just here. Whatever drew this knew what was in here. As they leave this haunted place, they find this figure upright in the forest, face and body wrapped up in a single cloth, not making a single sound. I don't know if it's a ghost or one of them pretending to be a spirit, but it's creepy and they get out of there without getting any closer. It's said that on this battlefield, the ghosts of soldiers still roam. Published by Dark 3 in July of 2019, a man is exploring a region where hostilities took many lives. The tree-heavy area features a couple of towers and a brick wall, dividing them. Despite the rather average-looking landscape, the cameraman says strange things are often observed here. After zooming in on the tower, the camera scans the tower from the top to the ground, which is covered by brush and trees. It is behind one of these trees that he captures a glimpse of a strange creature. It's hard to tell what this is. It looks hauntingly like an unearthly figure crouched down almost out of view. Its coloring does not blend with its surroundings, making me think there's a good chance this could be CGI. And that appears this is the case. So I guess that explains what this thing is doing here, because it certainly doesn't look of this world. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.